Blessings, blessings to you. Blessings to you. Blessings, man. I just want to say 1 Corinthians 13, the Bible says, Love holds no record of wrong. Love holds no record of wrong. When I was thinking about it the other day, that, that when I did a study on that word record, it holds no record. It has to do with um, bookkeeping um, or, or like accounting, you know. And when I think, I used to work for a tax agency and used to do bookkeeping. When you do bookkeeping, you're keeping track of expenses and all those type of things. You're keeping a track on it. You're keeping a tab. You're keeping a tab on what someone spends and so forth financially. And, 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 and the love of God, if we're really operating in the love of God like we should, one, love, don't keep a tab on people's faults. If we are keeping a tab on what people have done to us, said to us, how they treated us, what they did or didn't do, that's not love. Love doesn't keep a tab. It doesn't harbor stuff. Love doesn't keep a, a, a tab or an account of what people have done. In other words, love releases it. Love releases it. Secondly, when I thought of the word that came to my spirit was, it holds no record. I'm recording right now. I'm recording. Love doesn't record. What you mean? When people do things and they say things and they act a certain way, not that we ignore it. Love doesn't ignore sin or any of that. But love shouldn't, love doesn't record everything people do. Some people, they have this recording mindset. They, every time somebody does something, says something, behaves a certain way, they're always looking to record it, to tab it, to hold on to it, to store it in their heart and never release it. Love holds no record of wrong. Or another translation may say love love is not a fault finder. Maybe that's my translation because that's how I also see it. Love ain't fault finding. If, if, if you're always, if you're looking to be critical or you're looking for a weakness, you're looking for a flaw, you're looking for, for a deficiency, you're looking for an absence, you're looking for a void, you're looking for the error. If you can't be positive, that's not love either. You know, love is not overly critical. Love is going to criticize and give constructive criticism, yes. But love is not fault finding. It's not looking for faults. We have to be very careful because some of us in the church call discernment or are calling what we, some of us are calling discernment is really fault finding. Some of us. Some of us are calling certain things discernment or the prophetic. And it ain't the prophetic. It's not discernment. It's not insight. It's not word of knowledge. It's just, you're just real critical. You're overly critical. And that's from a place of, of just having knowledge without really love. For Paul said, knowledge puffs up, but love edifies. Amen. Let us walk in the love of God. And he was not speaking of unbelievers. He was speaking to believers that were prophetic, that were apostolic, that were highly gifted, that were speaking in tongues, that were operating in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, but they lacked the character of the Holy Spirit. Let us, let us be balanced. Let us be balanced. Love balances everything. Love should balance everything we do for God. Amen. Now be blessed. Y'all have a beautiful day. Love holds no record of love. Let us all work on it. And I'm working on it myself. I'm not just saying it just to say it. But these are things I'm working on. There are things people have done to me or haven't done. And I have to keep that in mind. I'm not going to hold a record on it. I'm going to let this go. Okay, I'm, I have to be able to have that awareness and I have it. So I'm working on me and letting things go. Like, no, I'm not going to hold that. I'm not going to hold that tab. I'm going to let that go. Release that. Because that ain't love. Amen. So y'all have a beautiful day. Um, God loves you. Um, and let's, let us love others. God bless.